Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com and this is a video on how to build your developer portfolio website using Next.js. Okay, uh, I have templates like that are pretty much similar to this for all the major um, static site generators. So if you like using Vue for Gridsome and Nux, I have a similar template. If you like using Angular, I have one for Scully. Um, and if you like using Svelte, there's one in Sapper. They all generally take the same concept. Okay, they're built around the, the, the they're similar templates. <clears throat> but essentially what you're gonna do here is you're gonna navigate to a folder. We're gonna open up terminal. And I'm gonna do this command, um, npx create markdown blog. So npx create markdown blog, and we're gonna be doing it with Next.js, so, um, I think it's next. Yeah, I think you just type in next. And uh, then we put in the name of our project. So we'll call it our portfolio. Or my portfolio. <clears throat> so I do that. The command will run. It's doing thing. Let's see here. And there it is, my portfolio. And see, it has all the stuff for next. So the next step would be, I'm gonna CD into that folder, my portfolio, and I'm gonna do an npm install, so it installs all the libraries. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an npm run dev once that's done. <coughs> There we go. And that's going to run the dev server. npm run dev. There we go. I'll open this up in the browser. It's going to take a second because basically what's going on is that next renders the page. So you see it's it's not much right now. Okay. And you can see like there's this link to this post called hello world. So basically there's a the blog built in. That's kind of like the beauty of this template. So right now to make a blog post, you just write down these markdown files. Okay, and you can just go to index.md and you can just literally copy this post here and just make another post. You'd put the name of the post here. If you care about the author, you can put that there. I don't think I made that mandatory. And then you just write your post down here. Just normal markdown syntax. Okay, and if you're not familiar with markdown syntax, you know, just uh, Google it. So let me just go over here. Markdown syntax. And see, this will this will walk you through how to write markdown. This is a good thing to do regularly because it gets you used to um, writing markdown, which is good for documentation. So you can just basically make as many markdown files in this folder, and it'll generate a page for each one. You don't even have to do anything beyond just put markdown files. Okay, but let's say you don't want your main page to be, so all the pages of your website are here. So if you don't want your main page to be the one that lists your blog posts, you can just rename this. In the, so just make a copy of this, copy, based index copy and I'm gonna rename this to blog.js <clears throat> okay so this way now the page with all my blog posts is blog okay so now if I can go to if I go back to where the page is I can go to slash blog and then there's there's this page again okay with the blog post which means I can change the index page, the main page. Okay, I can go back and change the, the main page to, to whatever I want. So, <clears throat> and then so this, this index page would be your main page. So basically what shows up there would be whatever you put in here. So whatever. Now this layout component allows you to kind of set the look of your page for one place. So you can just go to your components edit the header so you can change what's on the top of the page. So see right here where it says I am the header, that'll appear there so you can put like your navigation bar, your title, whatever. Okay, and then here, well this should say I am the footer, but besides the point, um, you can go then and change this to whatever you want to be the footer of the page. Okay, and where that component is, here's in layout. So see layout uses header and footer. Okay, and then here in this head tag, you could put any like script tags or link tags if you want to use like Bootstrap or something. 
I have skeleton in there now just to provide some basic default styles. Um, but you can make use of that there. Um, cool. This is the this is the MD list. This is the component that actually lists the different blog posts. So if you want to just change the way the blog posts are listed, um, essentially what happens, <clears throat> see how it says like post.front matter? Front matter is all this stuff that you put at the top of the markdown file. Uh, so if I go back to markdown, so see this right, right here, this is front matter. It's just YAML, okay? So it's just YAML. You, you can add any data you wanna have access to there. And then you'd have access to in this layout, you, either like here in MD list. So this will determine like how the different blog posts get listed. So you can change this if you wanna give them more information, change the styling of how each blog gets listed on the blog page. Um, now the actual page of like where an individual blog post gets posted is in this mark folder. And there's this folder called page. So whenever you go to an individual blog post, this determines how that blog post page looks like. So you would edit this page um, to do that, okay? cool and I don't think you ever really need to change any of this code here at the bottom okay and so you get access to the front matter so you can do all your stuff with the front matter um, and have fun okay so yeah that's that's that then what you can do is you can go create another page so again any page you create here in the pages folder is gonna have the URL of like slash whatever the path is from here so slash blog this is just index so it's a slash um, I remember what this purpose, the purpose of this for. Uh, you can ignore this particular file for the time being. Uh, mark, and this you can add more pages. So you can add like a page called like projects, and then again in your navigation, you can put links to your stuff. Um, but yeah, so that it's this is deal there, and yeah, that was short. So let me show you the Gatsby one two while we're at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to update this template real quick. So this is the actual one, that's the template. Um, let me just fix the footer so it says, I am the footer. Okay, now a major change. Open in my terminal, use my script, pushy, footer, origin master. Little script I wrote, this is just gonna do a git, add, commit, and push. Very nice. Now let me open another, my Gatsby folder. So front end, Gatsby, 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 Gatsby. There we go. And let's try the Gatsby one. <clears throat> so here we go. So we just do the same command, mpx create markdown blog. And then npx create markdown blog. And what I wanna do is create one using Gatsby. And we'll call this my portfolio again. Same process. And there we go. <clears throat> so we get my portfolio. Again, I cd into that folder. That was two. Well, my portfolio. And then from there, I would do the npm install to install the dependencies. And this is going to work pretty much the same way, except everything is in source. So if you go in the source, there's a folder called mark. That's where all your markdowns will go. Just like before, so you just put all the same stuff, just make as many markdowns as you want in that folder. Um, this, this mark page, this is the, the how a page, one of the, this is like the template for that one individual markdown page. Okay. And one thing you have to keep in mind here is that if you want other properties from the markdown, <coughs> you do have to add it to the query here. So right now it's only gonna give you title and date. So if I wanna add something like to the markdown, to the front matter, so like here, see we have author. I didn't query that, so I, I would have to add that here. So I'd have to be like author to get that from the front matter. So just keep that in mind. If you if you use the Gatsby template, you have to kind of update your GraphQL query. That should be the only one you really need to update, okay? Just to get those extra pieces of front matter. Um, this is the layout page. So again, there's a header component and a well, actually here, I didn't make them separate components, just one file. So you would just do all your work here. Again, everything, all your pages will show up here. And then here you can just like do your nav in this header tag, do your footer in this footer tag. And then this will be sort of your, your theme for all your pages. 
And just like Next.js, everything kind of works from this pages folder. So index.js is your main page. Um, except like the way this is all configured, it knows that when you do a URL, so if I wanted to go to like in, you know, website slash first, it would know to take this markdown file and inject it into this layout or inject into this mark page layout. Okay, so um, otherwise it's the same thing. Okay, you can read the Gatsby documentation if you want to do anything fancy with it, but this, you know, again, I can just go here, rename this blog, because this one's set up to be sort of list all the blog posts. If you wanted the case, you wanted the main page to not be one that lists all your blog posts. So, and again, you can change this page if you want the way the blog posts to be listed to, to be different. But again, all your styling, all that stuff, like injecting your styles, all that fun stuff would be happening here. And if you want to do like script tags, link tags, stuff like that, then what you should do is use a install something called helmet and that'll allow you to put like a head tag in there or a, a helmet that allows you to do like script tags and link tags i don't have that currently in here i do have styled components so you can actually write styled components from here so if you ever use react styled components you can do your styling using those uh, right out of the gate so essentially these folders are your styled components your pages your markdown files the layout stuff and then this is just if you want to have any images okay and just like any Gatsby project there's a Gatsby config file um, and all that good stuff so that is cool um, yeah that's that's that so hopefully you guys uh, try this out make some make some portfolio websites have a great day and the great thing about having the markdown blog is that every time to update the markdown blog you just make a markdown file, you commit, and you push it up to GitHub. And then assuming that you set up like continuous integration with like Netlify or Vercel, it's just gonna update the website, which is great. But the beauty of it is, is that basically every time you write blog posts, you're also creating commits for your, your GitHub heat map. So you're killing kind of multiple goals. You're making it easy for you to, to have active and constant commits, but at the same time while maintaining a blog and being encouraged to kind of work on this on the site. So my name is Alex Merced from AlexMercedCoder.com. Have a great day and enjoy.